The post-pandemic era is finally approaching, thank God, which many hoped would mean a full economic recovery. But businesses around the world are now faced with pressing issues like supply shortages, rising energy costs and inflation. So what does the current economic situation look like and what can businesses do about it? Grant Thornton's International Business Report, or IBR, can provide some helpful insights. This report consists of findings for the first half of 2022. It provides detailed economic insights based on surveys of 10,000 businesses across 29 economies conducted in May and June of this year. We review industry sentiment towards business opportunities as well as constraints for the coming 12-month period. In this video, I'll give you a brief overview of IBR's key findings from around the globe and in Asia Pacific, followed by key trends within the Asian countries in general and in Thailand in particular. The purpose is to give you a clear review of what's on the horizon so that you can plan your business strategy accordingly. Let's look at the business optimism scores around the world and in the Asia Pacific region. The global business optimism score for the first half of 2022 was 64%, a decline of six percentage points compared to the second half of 2021. Similarly, the optimism score for Asia Pacific was 59%, a 10 percentage point drop. Inflation, international trade tensions and the ongoing Russian-Ukraine conflict are the main contributors to this drop in global and regional business optimism. Now let's turn to the business optimism scores for Asian and Thailand, which also declined, but more modestly than their global and Asia Pacific counterparts. For Asians, 72% of respondents indicated the sentiment of overall optimism, a one percentage point decrease from the first half of 2021. The relatively high level of optimism seems to match with other analyses, such as the Asian Development Bank's forecast of 5% GDP growth, which is across all of Southeast Asia in 2022. Thailand's economic optimism score stood at 58%. Although the country announced plans to remove all COVID-related restrictions at the time of this IBR survey, we are still seeing low optimism scores compared to the global Asia-Pacific and Asian findings. This may be because Thailand has a relatively mature economy compared to the other Asian countries and can therefore expect less rapid growth. Still, we are seeing an 11 percentage point increase when compared to the first half of 2021. So now that we have a broad idea of the economic optimism among mid-market businesses, let's have a look at their future investment intentions. For employment, we see a four percentage point decline in Thailand when compared to the second half of 2021, which mirrors similar decreases in the region and global levels. Similarly, Thailand is showing reduced optimism towards investment in staff skills with a decline of six percentage points since the second half of 2021, with only 47% of business leaders expecting to increase investment in this area, Thailand is well below its Asian and global counterparts. We believe this number may rise if the government modernises its labour laws to better fit the tech-powered economy that it seeks to promote. As for the expected investment in technology, Thailand's 61% is similar to the regional and global counterparts. But this 61% also represents a whopping 10 percentage point drop compared to the second half of 2021. This suggests that businesses in Thailand are not yet ready for a stable period of growth and that the government could do more to support businesses during this post-pandemic recovery period. Lastly, we will focus on how overall economic uncertainty is a major constraint to business growth. 63% of global businesses surveyed have expressed economic uncertainty, which is similar to the Asia Pacific average of 60%. These numbers reflect a three percentage point increase in uncertainty globally from the second half of 2021, and a modest one percentage point decrease in Asia Pacific. Again, global challenges such as Russia-Ukraine conflict, supply shortages, increasing energy costs and rising inflation are the main contributors to this uncertainty. It's important to note that these trends are still ongoing, worsening in many cases and showing no signs of slowing down. This means that even more respondents will show concern about economic uncertainty if the surveys were conducted today. Now let's look at the economic uncertainty among mid-market business leaders in Asian and Thailand. In Asian, economic uncertainty stood at 63%, with a three percentage point increase compared to the second half of 2021, closely mirroring global numbers. 
As for Thailand, its economic uncertainty score stands at 61%, similar to its regional and global counterparts. However, the country recorded a significant 13 percentage point improvement when compared to the second half of 2021. This more encouraging figure is mostly due to Thailand's rising tourism totals, as well as increases in both imports and exports. However, if we dig deeper into the numbers, many issues are still remaining for Thailand. As with the rest of the world, Thailand is suffering from increasing energy costs and 60% of survey respondents expressed significant concern over this issue. There was a 17 percentage point increase in concern over energy costs compared to the second half of 2021. By contrast, however, Thailand seems to be in good shape when it comes to the availability of its skilled workforce. We've seen an 18 percentage point improvement over the second half of 2021, and only 30% of respondents see availability of skilled labour as a constraint compared with 38% in Asian, 52% in Asia Pacific, and 56% globally. These results are somewhat surprising considering that Thailand's education system is lagging behind others when it comes to developing skills that are suited to an advanced digital economy. Nevertheless, most businesses seem to be satisfied with the quality of the country's talent pool at present. Regulation and red tape is also becoming less of a concern for businesses in Thailand, with only 33% of respondents citing these as a constraint. This figure represents a five percentage point improvement over the second half of 2021. Thailand is also in far better shape than its regional and global counterparts on this front. Thailand's continued relaxation of COVID-related travel restrictions and export-related laws are major contributors to this positive trend. Despite some positive signs of recovery, the post-pandemic era will be filled with new challenges. Business leaders must navigate with caution, proactively anticipate likely business constraints and take effective measures to work around them. If your business needs help identifying risks and opportunities, get in touch. I and the rest of the Grant Thornton team can provide you with practical advice to guide your organisation towards sustainable growth.